to Chris Adcock. Love all. Play. So this group B encounter. And the lift is just long of the back so line. Over. One. Well, you're right, Steen, about the Adcocks enjoying the conditions here in Dubai. And two years ago, at the first Super Series final staged in this arena, they reached the semi final stage, then won the title last year. Obviously, feel at home here. Yeah, it's a, it's a really big hall here in the Handaman Sports Complex. And um, apparently that suits their playing style. Here at the Super Series Finals, the only pair that's four. played before, obviously, are the defending champions. The other newcomers making their first appearance, Liu Kai and Wang Yashiong, and another Chinese pair of Sheng Shiwei and Cheng Ching Chen. Hey. Service over. Three, two. Also, this this pool format um, gives you a second chance if you uh, are not really uh, adapted to the circumstances in in the first match. You still have a chance to uh, move on to the semi-finals. And I, as far as I remember, that was the case with uh, Chris and Gabby Adcock last year that they actually lost um, their first match and, and needed to win the last one to, to top their group. Um, which they did. So you, you Three, get a chance to get adapted four. to the circumstances here, whereas in a tournament, if you lose a match, yes. you're going on to the next tournament. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Hey! Lots of good placement in that rally from so Chris Adcock. Not much pace on the shuttle. No. Five, three. And that's probably one of the um, key points in, in this match here, with the, um, especially Chris from the back court can uh, maintain control and, and play these soft mid court shots, avoid putting too much pace in it. Well, we've got a challenge already. It was called out we have the hawkeye challenge system in operation here and you're allowed two challenges per game so a difference to last year's super series finals where you're only allowed two challenges per match now allowed two challenges per game so what does hawkeye say confirms uh, the line judge was correct challenge unsuccessful one challenge remaining service over four five play Service over. Six, four. Oh, oh that's nice. Oh, indecision. 
Oh my <laughs> goodness. Well, that goes down as a missed opportunity so, so from Gabby Adcock. The indecision there, Five, though, from Chris, six, taking yeah, it one, all this one, Yeah. Yeah. And I actually think that he should have left it because um, we're sitting uh, right over that, or at least I'm sitting over that left sideline there, and I'm pretty certain that would have gone wide. No, no, no! Yeah. I'm all right on that one. Service over. Seven. Five. Six. Well done. Flip serve is long. Service over. And I think we can expect a number of Six. flip serves from Seven. Gabby Adcock. <laughs> really been struggling. We've talked about it a lot over the past year, haven't we, Steen, about yeah. her? Yeah, we is have. Is it purely a lack of confidence on her low serve? Yeah. Um. Oh, oh, powerful smash. To Seven. Yeah, oh. two. Right on the right shoulder of um, Gabby Adcock. Yeah, getting back to her, her low service. Um, we've discussed it, as you say, over the year, and I, I have a feeling that sort of the the exact movement for that low service is broke and, and she's got to try a new over. way of serving. Yeah. Um, Eight. I know seven. that uh, Hans Christian Witting, who was the Danish men's singles player, he um, he tends to agree because he's had some problems with his uh, services in, in the men's singles and, and he's sort of um, try, try, tried a new way of um, executing his service and, and it's worked for him. So complete new action. Over. Completely new action. Wow. That takes courage Eight to do that. Old. Yes, yes. Uh, and, and time, because mm. um, it's like it a takes golf. some time to get used to it. Yeah, no, it's a bit like Eight. a golfer yeah. changing their swing or something. I mean, it's yeah. fairly drastic. And we often see also um, that golfers change putters, uh, the yeah. length of the manufacturer and, and the grip on the putters and so, so on. It's so it's over. I think Nine, relying on eight. the old uh, service um, routine, getting back and, and working, um, might be um, just a hope. Four. Service fault called. Four service fault called. Service over. Struck above the waist. Nine. Oh. Says our service judge. Called on Gabby Adcock. Five. Yeah, she got back well. Time so is over. Dealt with it very well. Ten, nine. Five. So it's a big game interval. Nine. The defending champions Principal. with a two-point advantage. Jubon, Japanese coach, just eight minutes to the mid game interval. When you're up the front, I think you can take her on rather than push him through because then he can block. Mm. Yeah, so then we lose the attack. So it's more about us just being brave and taking her on a little bit more. Like you are with your blocks, is good. Mm. Yeah, and being up there early. Same with you when you're at the front. We've not wanted to lift once, so just, we just need to. Yeah, just hold the neck a little bit. Yeah. yeah, you can do little turns and deceptions when you're up there. But. Okay. Court one, second, 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 Oh hey. Service over. Hey. Ten, eleven. Hey. 
It's all so surprised it's me a little bit, Steen, you know, when you think of Park Jubong as, you know, 12, I don't want to ten. get into a debate as whether he was the greatest mixed doubles player at, uh, ever, <laughs> but he was certainly one of them, and yeah. Olympic men's doubles champion, world champion in both women in mixed doubles and men's doubles. And Japan has not really, since Ikeda and Shiota, haven't really had an outstanding mixed doubles pair. Do you think this pair on court is the pair to perhaps take them back into world leaders? Uh, I'm afraid it isn't. I think maybe one half of the pair is. Time is over. But uh, I don't think... Kurihara? Uh, yeah, Kurihara has some of the skills needed at, mm. um, at the front court. Um, I, I think very highly of her on the front court. And she can play from the back court as well. I just don't 11, think that um, Kenta Kasuno... Um, has the skills to to um, be in in the top five in the mixed doubles? I think he's really really fast, and he's got he's got some. Uh, actually, otherwise he wouldn't be here. He's got some excellent skills. It's just the controlling shots that we see Chris Adcock doing. Mm. We rarely see them from Kenta Kasuno. It's, it's like he just doesn't have so that so um, uh, read of the game that we see for the from truly great 13, mixed doubles players like uh, Jiang Nan. Um, that's a good yeah. example, the former Thank Olympic uh, champion in mixed doubles and world champion. Um, Has he come to it too late then? You know, he, he's I was, played very, I was, very good men's doubles. I was thinking about it when, when I saw his age in, in the presentation, that he's 31. Um, that's, in, in my opinion, that's that's a little bit old for a, for a Japanese player. I was surprised. Um, we've seen that uh, Hayakawa has um, retired. 14. I think 11. he would have more of the mixed double skills uh, that uh, I would think would be needed to to reach a uh, top level. Yeah. And he was forced to retire really through a persistent back injury, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, we saw that at the Olympics. That yeah. was a terrible injury to get exactly at that time. Oh, that's a nice serve. I like that variation. Hey! That's a beautiful block too. 15, and in fact, 11. you know, your point about the, the little pushes from Kazuno or lack of them, I mean, we've hardly seen any powerful smashes. Everything has been no. tried to, they're both pairs try to keep it low and just guiding the shuttle into the open spaces. Yeah, they don't want to lift. Oh, almost fault receiver there. Oh, hey! oh, they're yeah. challenging that. They're challenging that. Out. Well, I think I said that was beautiful. I, obviously, my instinctive reaction was that had landed in. But we'll wait for Hawkeye to tell us for sure. Yeah, the challenge was immediate. I thought their first challenge, they were a, a little bit hesitant as to whether they should challenge or not. Let's have a look at this, though. Here we go. Oh, it was just out. Ah. It was. That's, That's a good call by the linesman. Very no good call by the line remaining. judge. So all their challenges have been used up in this opening game. Serve is over. 12, 15, play. At least they can play on with peace of mind because they checked whether it was yeah. actually out, and it was. So Yeah, it's a great innovation for the sport, isn't yeah. it? We've had to walk out now for a couple of years, and it's wonderful. It is peace of mind for the players, and, of course, it ensures that the correct and fair decision is made in the end, which is obviously the, a necessity in sport. Or no! should be a necessity yeah. in sport. So it's over. 16, 12. And just to elaborate a little bit about um, uh, Kasuno's uh, reading of the mixed doubles game, I think we're going to see a number of times uh, Kurihara um, sort of defending herself well and, and actually 
um, making some Shadows shots over. that could turn the defense around, but 13, we'll also see that uh, the Adcocks, they will maintain the control over uh, the rally. Uh, that, that's what I expect from, mm. from um, the rest of this um, first game. And that's exactly 13. one of the things playing in the hole for the first time in a year. Uh, you got to sort of um, get yourself used to where you are in the hole and, and sort of feel the space. And sometimes it's nice to get a little bit of help from your partner who can yeah. see it from a little bit different 14, angle and doesn't have to make the shot as 17. well. Service over. 18, 14. Sure, we've seen a low serve from Gabby Adcock yet, have we? What's she going to do here? Ah. Right, flick. Oh, that's nice. Hi! Couldn't follow it up, though. So. 19, 14. Thank you. And one of the things that often puzzles me when, when uh, it's Gabby Adcock's turn to serve is that the opponents, they, they have the same position as if she was a, a steady uh, low server. They, they don't move back. The very, very few opponents do it. They always move you mean half a foot back from yeah. the service line. Five. Oh, it's game point. 20, now. game point, 14. Yeah, I agree with you, Steen. Tell your opponent that I'm waiting for the flick. Yeah, and, and even sort of um, almost force her to, to try a low serve. Serve is over. 15, 20. Mm -hmm. Coaching bench, Peter Jeffrey and Graham Harrell. Okay. Just as many coaches as uh, players <laughs> from uh, England. Yeah. Set up the whole rally, that return of serve from Chris Adcock Close and the, the defending one champions, one game Gabby to the good in their 15. opening group match. Look at that return of serve. Real pressure on Kazuno. And we'll finished off by Gabby Adcock. So open game, 21-15 in 18 minutes. <laughs> It's very clear. Uh, they can't really handle when we're first to get the blocking. Yeah. Yeah. So they're not really coming in and challenging that in the rest of it. So I'm going to have to really put in our heads that everything is in front. Everything is early. Pace so off. Uh, when you're the net, pace off. 13. Yeah. If you're at the net, take the net on. Yeah. Yeah. She hasn't killed one yet. Something wrong about moving opponents from side to side. And what was that gesture? Do you think that was something about the blocks that you had been suggesting? Yeah, uh, hopefully, think, hopefully. I think it might have been. He doesn't look entirely happy, Park. No. Interesting as well that Park used to coach in England. So, what, was he working with these two players when he was in England, or they I came a bit later? It might have been. Um, Juniors when, when he was right. there. He was uh, working with a lot with Nathan Robertson, Gail Ems, and Simon Archer, Joe Good. Yep. Very successful uh, pairings. Yeah, both of them are the those two pairings. <coughs> Court one, 
20 seconds. So the defending champions, one game to the good in their Second first game. group match here. Love all. The Dubai uh, Super Series play. finals. Service over. Well, I thought English pair one, love. always looked to me in that opening game as if they were doing enough yeah. to win. But we mustn't underestimate Kazuno and Kurihara. They are a pair who have beaten the now world number ones, Go Sung Hyung and Kim Ha Na. Uh, they are a pair that's beaten the former Olympic silver medalist, Sun Chen and Ma Jin. World Championship silver medalists Li Cheng and Bao Yi Sin. So when you've got results against world that top pairs over. like that, they've got to be a threat to any pair. Yeah. Wow. I, I don't oh. think they match up very well against Chris and Gabby Adcock because they, they play mixed um, with this tactical understanding that you don't have to play fast shots all the time. And, and we often see that uh, when Kasuno has the the shuttle in mid-court, a little bit below the tape. He puts a little bit too much speed in, in the shuttle, which makes it go upwards, 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 all the way over to most of the time Chris Atkuk in um, gives him the control of the rally. So you actually have to um, be so accurate that you can get the shuttle trajectory to top at the net and then fall to the mid-court. That, that's what... Uh, gives you the control over the rallies. Three, one. And, and that's what puzzles me a little bit because I mean, there's no secret to what the Adcocks are trying to do, and and Park he knows that perfectly well. So. They know what's going to happen. They just don't, doesn't seem to have the weapons to to um, do anything about it. Hey! There's the pace Four, off that one. coach Peter Jeffrey was talking about to his players. Change the shuttle. Is it the the lack of techniques to implement what you were saying, or is it perhaps a lack of confidence because they're not used to playing that way, the ah. Japanese pair? Yeah, ah. it, it, lack of confidence or maybe lack of understanding. Yeah. And oh, I mean, service fault, go on. Oh, here's another service fault. Service over. Yeah, that's the second ah. on Gabby Adcock, isn't it? Two, four. Falls above the waist, was it? Yeah. The shuttle actually falls quite a bit from her hand before she hits it. Three, four. And that's, from a technical perspective, not very um, uh, good. Because, I mean, then where are you going to hit it? Are you, are you sure you're going to hit it uh, in the same spot every time? You can't be. So, more or less, have to knock the shuttle out of your hand when you're serving. Service over. I don't know whether you've had a chance to speak to some of the players, Five, Steve, three. but it appears to me that there's a definite left to right drift. Yeah, I think so too. I haven't spoken to the players, but um, I agree. Oh, that's good defense, my goodness. Six. Uh, um, three. I don't like that shot because it's it's a all or nothing shot. I mean, if she gets it. It's a winner, and and she got it this time. Gabby Atkin and and Kasuno, he couldn't play on. Good job. Chris, come on. Good rally. Yeah. And Oh my goodness, that is a missed opportunity from Kenta Seven, Kazuno. Three. My goodness me, they worked the rally so well. Yeah, play. 
Perhaps a little bit of hesitation. Yeah. Oh, that cost them dear, didn't it? That defense had exactly that height where you don't know whether to block it or to yeah. keep on pushing. That's Sorry, some of the stuff that makes me think quite highly of Ayana Kurihara. Oh. That if you play with a, a female player that can do these uh, things at the net here, great cross court and follow up, then you have a chance. Mm. Hey! So it's over. Over. Yeah, he was quick onto that, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Five, that, that's his uh, strength. He's really, really quick on his feet. Quick with the racket as well, but mm. almost all top doubles players are really, really fast in the racket movement. Yeah. That's precisely that was what, example. It, what you were talking yeah. about. He's going upwards instead Nine. of reaching yes. the height, highest point. This backhand here. Yeah, it's still going upwards as it's gone over the net. And he's simply putting in, he's putting too much speed in his shot. So ah. the gravity doesn't get it uh, below the tape. That's actually what you're waiting for. That's gravity to, to help you. And we could see that Kurihara was actually making her way to the net and giving the pair an opportunity. So it's over. Six, It's over. Ten, six. Oh. Hey. So it's over. Seven. Ten. That's well finished off. So over. Eleven. Seven. You have to question the lift from Kazuno straight to the left hander's forehand side. This one here. I'm not sure it was particularly deep in court either. No. Well finished off from Chris Adcock. Then the decision is simple because you know. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, yeah, just 20 a quick seconds. word from Peter Jeffrey, not over complicating things. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. His pair is in total control, so don't don't say too much, don't uh, disturb. Yeah. 11-7. Play. Ah! 
Well, it's time, I think, for the <laughs> Japanese pair. Yeah, yeah, I didn't realise until I held it. Sorry. Yeah, I'm just saying, if you need the shuttle change, do it straight away. It's just extending the big game interval, isn't it, a little? I think it's time for the Japanese pair. They've, they've got to try something different <laughs> because... So the frankly, they're not going to win playing this way, are no, they? No, no. I totally agree. It's desperate. 11. Calls for desperate measures. Yeah. And and uh, also in this group stage, it's it's so crucial that even if you lose a match, you must try to get a, a game mm. that gives you a better opportunity uh, for um, still qualifying for the semifinals. Hey! Hey! Time is over. Three, six, Twelve. Eight. Yeah, I can see the idea. I like the idea. I think you were saying earlier, Steen, they haven't got the the technique or perhaps the confidence to really implement that on a regular basis. And there's another. I can see that she's thinking, I don't want to lift yeah. this. 13, I want to play that eight. little bot. But because it's not what she would usually yeah. play, Perhaps making the error, or maybe her partner got in the way there. The yeah. Great actions from, from Gabby also in her backhand side there. Mm. So, hey! both Chris and Gabby, they're, they're 14, totally sure eight. on what the plan is. Yeah. And, and that's so important. There's no doubt where should I put it, should I push, should I block? It's mm. like perhaps 80% blocks. Wait for the good hey! chance. You see, that, that, that's what I don't understand. Eight. It still comes as a shock for Ayana Kurihara that, that Gabiaka is going to flick. Mm. Why not move um, a oh. meter back from, from the short service line and force her? Let's see if she can serve a short service. Yeah. So we can at least punish her on, on the flick serves. Yeah. No, I'm with you 100% on that. That was going wide, I think. Great shot, great shot. Yeah. 16. And as I said eight. earlier, I, I was surprised to see this Japanese pair continue playing on after the Olympics because I, I really don't see the improvement, uh, and, and uh, especially in, in Kenta Kasuno. And I think it could be detrimental for the development of Ayana Kurihara to keep on playing with him because she gets to play 17, an eight. awful lot of matches. Uh, in, in a position where she's in the defense and, and doesn't really get to use her uh, read of the game and her great skills at the net. So so uh, I'm very interested to see if they continue their partnership in, in 2017. Yeah. Well, the umpire just having a word with Kura Harap because he said she wasn't to go and tell down and she did. So anyway. Service over. Nine. She tried a little service. Yeah. Is that the first one she's tried? Yeah, I, and that's the first one I've noticed. Eight. Yeah, me too. But, but I mean, over. From, from seeing this, um, 18, what we discussed nine. earlier on, that, that she's letting the shuttle go, Three. and then it falls quite a bit dist uh, quite a big distance before she hits it. That that's that's technically. Not a good service. So you virtually on the service uh, take the shuttle out of the hand yeah. as you're playing. Yeah. yeah. Well, more credit to the English combination because they have looked sharp today. I think they've played twenty match point. A good solid nine. game. Yeah. Good solid opening match and match points galore for them. Rally. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 
Game. But match to the defending champions, the number seven seeds, Chris and Gabby Adcock. Two straight games, 21-15, 21-9.